真実の強さと歩む RPG「テイルズ・オブ・ザ・レイズラスト・クレイドル」全てが嘘でもその真実と共に生きると決めた Hello everyone! I'm so excited to announce my last challenge stream. For those who don't really know what I'm referring to, what I call a challenge stream is basically a particular type of challenge run that I only record on stream. Those runs usually feature strange, weird, or even experimental restrictions, and what makes them so interesting is that I never prepare or plan them beforehand. So I always discover on stream how to overcome all the challenges I have to face. This run is very special to me because I actually wanted to do it since January 2021. After Nanko released a Tales of the Rest trailer stating that all main characters were added to the roster. The exception being, of course, Kura. This was once again another middle finger to all the Narikiri fans, so I really wanted to do something special to fix that injustice. 
and give Kura an occasion to shine. A friend of mine, Ciro, also requested a long time ago a monster run, so I'm very happy to finally offer that to her. Without further ado, let's see the restrictions. Monsters only, new game, hard mode. Those are quite standard restrictions, but I would like to specify that just that is already a huge challenge. NDX is very aerial and combo focused, but all the monsters have very limited movesets, meaning that it's very hard to put pressure on the enemies. Also, they can only equip one single accessory and nothing else, making them particularly fragile in the long run. So, I may have a lot of issues with hard mode. However, I decided to add a few hacks to make my life a bit easier. And when I say easier, I just mean that I removed some unnecessary backtracking. The first thing I did is to make the catch rate 100%. I will always catch a special monster when I fight it, which removes a lot of unnecessary RNG. The other thing I did is to be able to switch my monsters at any time on the map, without having to go back to Heto's house to rearrange my party. That would have been absolutely annoying to do otherwise because I would have to go back after every single dungeon. But despite this small quality of life improvements, I still decided to add more restrictions. I can't have the same monster twice in my party. The reason behind this restriction is to avoid some possible infinite combos or even spell locks. Some monsters are way better than the others so what I wanted to do is force myself to find the best party combination depending on the situation. One very silly restriction I added is that I can talk to humans. Because monsters can speak. And it's actually very annoying because that means I have no access to any shop, I can trigger any side quest and I can't use money for anything. I will have to rely entirely on monster drops and chests. And finally, probably the worst idea I got, the chat will have the right to rename all my monsters. And I know some of you have very, very terrible ideas. Please, do not make me banned before I leave YouTube by myself. Anyway, that's about it. This change will be streamed during the anniversary week. I still have a bit of preparation to do, but I will try to share our planning very soon. Until then, take care everyone, and see ya!